So I had the chance to visit CES in Las Vegas, just walk around. I saw lots of VR, AR, lots of people wearing all kinds of glasses, all shapes and forms, all weights, all kinds of controllers or non-controllers. I didn't know there were so many variations of uh, headwear, eyewear, brainwear. And if anything, it felt to me the way that a lot of computer shows used to feel a long time ago where there was so much diversity of different kinds of computers. So AR, VR, oh, what's that? That's a robot. So you could really feel the blurring of physical space with the visual space. And this display was neat. It, you can't really see it when I was shot it with my camera, my phone camera, but it's like a holographic display. It's so real. This is a shoe floating in space. In a space that also blurred over to the gigantic robotics floor. And it was so much fun to see all the robots either rolling around or rolling around, crawling around. This was a fun little thing I've seen somewhere from a startup in Europe packaged in a different way. But drones, a lot of drone cages. I thought it was a bit concerning how many cages there were for these drones. And I just wondered, like, what does that mean? Does it mean they're dangerous? I guess kind of. And so many kinds of drones that can lift so many things or coordinate across each other. Really pleasant to watch, but I wondered what you would do with so many kinds. But again, diversity is a good thing. And in terms of robots, there were tiny ones big ones, floating ones, there were also like whole boat drones and bicycle drones. This is a uh, window washing drone. It feels very Wally, -e, doesn't it? Look, Wally. -e. And of course vacuum cleaners and this one sort of feels like a realish person. I kind of like this one here. It's like this definitely made me feel that hotels, airports are changing using these kinds of helpful robots. This is a little bit weird. This is um, robots to exercise your pets. I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but again, you might have a pet like this that needs a robot, another robot to exercise it. And as a fan of giant robot transformer type things, I was amazed that these kinds of things are already available, not as just toys, but you know, robots. If there was one meme playing in my mind, it was hashtag China innovation. Wow, like I'd seen this AI newscaster in a YouTube video somewhere and here's the company. And a lot of jobs are being done by a lot of Chinese companies that are making so many cool things. I was so struck by how these things are normal in Asia and less normal outside of Asia. Because of the religious differences, openness to imagery, and so many ways to sense the body, the face, I felt that facial recognition in China is now being merchandised so nicely in all these products and APIs and it seems so likely that signing up for one of these makes sense because the tech is so good, the parts are so good, and the engineering is great and it's a new world, hashtag China. But it's all about mashups, exchanges of different cultures, different kinds of thinking. This CMU startup has this cool box sensor that I've seen in different formats over the decades, but again, it's finally coming together, people sharing together and making it happen.